and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sharifa, also known as Sharifa Samora, and I'm the content creator behind this channel. So if you love anything luxury, especially luxury handbags, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to be more consistent over here and I would love for you to join me on that journey. Also, if you want to stay up to date of what I'm doing on a daily basis, please follow along on my Instagram account. I will leave my handle over here. I would love for you to join the community over there as well. It is fun, it's more low key. It's just like what I'm doing on a daily basis. Love to see you over there as well. So what are we going to talk about today? Today's video, well, you can see it in the boxes, is going to be like a quick what I bought at Chanel. First things first, if you have seen my previous video, you know I'm trying to slow down. I'm doing the whole one in, one out rule. So uh, whatever I'm buying, I'm trying to sleep on it for a few days, trying to like have a look if it fits in my wardrobe. Am I missing it? It's definitely not a need, 100% not a need. It's more like, okay, it's a want, and how will it fit in my wardrobe? How will I not get too cluttered? And for me, when it comes to Chanel, how will I not go to the crazy Chanel rabbit hole? Because um, above all, I do feel like I'm really a Chanel girl. I love their shows, I watch their shows, I look forward to new collections, I look forward to new bags, new clothes, new everything. I'm a true Chanel lover. I will admit that I also love getting into store, I love the staff, I'm just passionate about it. I think it's the first fashion brand as a little, little girl that I was aware of, so I have this special thing for Chanel. But as all things Chanel, even as a true Chanel lover, um, the price increases, they are not funny. And I'm sorry, I will, I will say it to them as well. Like we can also like stop buying them, which you know would probably not happen. It has this power over you, but with the price increases and me adding another baby to the family, also like I, I totally feel like I have to be better with my luxury purchases, luxury decisions. So yeah, you see a few bags, but I think it was like in a month time and some things I was for the wait list on and um, yeah, I'm trying to slow down in my own way. So let's dive into it. What did I buy at Chanel? I want to open the first box. This is definitely a wand and I actually bought it because I let another one go that one is for sale and I was like I need to I would love to replace it I saw this one so I went to my closet what am I letting go and then the boxes I thought it was very special and I'm probably only allowed one other one this year but these are these cute sunglasses Different model than I'm used to, it's smaller. Um, I can't find my Celine Trium sunglasses, but it kind of reminds me of that. So in that case, I felt I was missing a smaller model sunglasses and the pearls make it like super Chanel. I really did love this. I will try it on for you guys. And it's just different if you have seen my photos on Instagram. I'm normally someone that wears like big glasses and I wanted something different for this year. So. Truly love these glasses. Um, I thought about it. I went home, thought about it for a week, went back. I was like, you know what? I'm getting these for myself for my birthday. I really love these Chanel Sunnies and I think they are great for years to come. So another item that I bought and um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm currently pregnant and I've been looking, okay, what am I going to wear? Are these? I did a quick unboxing already. Classic staples. Maybe this year I'm all about the classics. I'm also like not 100% sure if that's a good statement. But I bought the Chanel sling bags in flat and leather. So I've already owned two Chanel sling bag pairs. Both of them are in tweed. So I have a light, lighter one, like it's a white with yellow tweed with a heel and I have a black one in tweed, which is very fancy. They are so comfortable. Like the black one, I walked home after dinner for 30 minutes on the black ones and they were amazing. So, I, but I wanted a leather one that I could wear like more with like jeans and more like less dressier. So I love these and I also love that they are flat because um, 
Currently I'm pregnant, if the weather is getting a little bit better, this would be amazing, but also like looking into the future, this would be something I can push after a stroller. They are lambskin, so they're a little bit more delicate than normally they are in calf skin, so I have to be careful I don't damage them because I already see a dent over here. And um, it's like a very dark navy, but I think they're super chic. They'll go with a black outfit. I don't think they will go with like a very colorful outfit, but it's like a beautiful, beautiful shoe. All jeans. I would even like pair this with like an old jeans gym jumpsuit. And just to give the jumpsuit a less kind of casual vibe, I will put these underneath of it. So definitely shoes I will be wearing for the coming period. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but the spin bags went up like crazy as well. And that's maybe the whole thing with Chanel. Everything goes up, so when you see it, you just want to buy it before you have another price increase, but it's a little bit annoying sometimes. I do complain, but I'm not stopping with shopping, so I don't know why I'm complaining, but um, yeah, it's frustrating from this time. I'm not gonna lie, it's very annoying, but we love Chanel. So another thing I grabbed as well, and so I like I think from the last collection, I didn't go for bags, because like you guys know, I have to get rid of a few other bags before I get new ones. Another thing I go, and my, my, my essay was like completely in shock. She's like, you don't have it yet? I'm like, no. So I'm a size 41, 42. In sling bags, I always take a 42 because I just, want a little bit of space and I don't know how my feet are going to be in the summer and I think they're a little bit more on the narrow side and um, that's the reason I take the 42. My SA was not even aware that I didn't have these yet so I got another pair of sling bags but in the classic color and I think I drove one of my friends nuts like how often do you wear them? I would have preferred them in the flat size but everyone's like no don't do that take them with the heel I find it very, very hard to combine beige, but I f because I have beige ballerina flats from another brand, but not with the black top on here. So maybe the combination beige and black will make it easier for me to combine them. I've been going crazy on Pinterest to have a look at the outfits, like how to sell them. And I think after two weeks thinking about it, going back and forth, I've decided to pick them up because I do know if I don't pick them up right now and they were in my size, it's going to take me another year. And I already find them like ridiculously priced right now. I remember when they were at least around $600 cheaper and I don't want to wait for a whole year and they're going to be like $500 up. So I've decided to get these as well and um, can't wait to wear them when the baby is out because currently I cannot walk on these, but I think they're a very good classic. And as I said, my essay was like, you do not have them in your collection. I'm like, no, because I never, they were never in my size. And I just had other priorities, maybe bags, but it's a good one to add to my collection and really, really love these. So this is like a bigger, as you can see, it's like a way bigger bag. So I always call this a shoe hole. Like, I don't know. Um, I love Chanel's shoes. They're less comfortable than Hermes shoes, in all fairness, but I do love them. They're like so cute. So, these I could not wait to get in my size either, and it has a backstory. I've been wanting Chanel boots forever. So I have shorter combat boots, I have shorter ankle boots, but I wanted like Chanel higher boots that I could wear like under a skirt and a cute outfit. And Last year I was trying to be responsible. I said like, no, I have so many boots already. And then I totally regretted it because sometimes I have like a full Chanel outfit and I want to be like full Chanel and I'm missing like nice knee high kind of boots. So when I saw these in store, I already like, I asked my essay like, please get them for me in my size. And she did. And here they are. They have like a little Chanel logo over here, all leather. A little bit of like, they have this horse riding vibe, but rounder toe, some details over here. What I always find difficult when we have certain Chanel boots, I love when they have like a better sole, but the sole over here is flat. That's something I have to get used to. And as always, I cannot touch them. These are in a 41C. 
like the width is okay but but i'm just hoping they will be comfortable they're easy to get in and out to and i just adore them i love them i love that the logo is like ingrained in it so you do not like it's not like a little thing that they it's like really in the letter and i have a bag that the logo is like this so i can like wait to style them really like these um currently i could wear them right now if i'm looking outside but i won't i think i will have these out in fall but really really love these chanel boots and happy i grabbed them like if it would be reasonable like no not buy them right now but like i did because i will get it in fall if i don't so i have these chanel boots for myself it was also like part of my birthday gift so that and the sunnies i felt like okay i'm buying that for myself for my birthday but now i have to decide what boot is going and the only thing i was like a little bit doubting i do have the hermes jumping boots and i felt like maybe they were similar but one is chanel and one is hermes so i said no let's just go for it because i'm gonna like whine and complain to my essay for a whole year like i wanted these boots and so now i do have them so the final thing i bought an old fairness it is a little bit of an impulse buy like um but i was like you know what let's just do it and regret it later should have i did not sleep on this i'm gonna be very honest with you guys but i've been on the market for a sneaker in a particular color and this is one that came closest to it but also I feel like it's something I can wear in the coming few weeks if the snow goes away. It's like a black Chanel trainers. I love my Chanel trainers. They're so comfortable. But even these, they went up in price as well. I'm like, okay, if I wait for the next round, they might be more expensive. And who says they're going to have like a full black one? So I bought these. They're extremely comfortable. I just take them in my normal size, which is a size... 41 and uh, they are so comfy I just want to actually wear them already but I wanted to wait for the video to come out and do the unboxing with you guys but these are super comfortable so if you ever see Chanel trainers and you are a sneaker girl take them I've never been a sneaker girl until I had like boys and these are like so nice but I can even see myself styling them with like more of like um fancier trousers and because they're black they would be easy like one of my friends was mentioning because she was in store when i was trying them on that she did not like this but it's actually the least thing that bothers me this bothers me the most but i feel like with luxury brands there's always something that would be like super branded logo and they always give like an extra pair of like laces but i would not put the white ones i will prefer the black ones in these so this is my one really not thought about it very impulsive buy but i've like i've been in store and i've seen bags that i wanted and i did not take them and this is i felt like the sneakers is something i'm really gonna use right now i do not have almost full black sneakers and i wear a lot of black I wear a lot of dark colors this is the reason that i decided to buy them and they're more comfortable than my chanel loafers at this point or ballerinas they're just easy in and out and just comfortable especially when you're pregnant so this is my little chanel i think almost like shoe hole so these sneakers were 23p like most of the things were from the new collection uh that was not 23p yeah 23p except my sunglasses and my uh my boots the rest of it was all the new chanel collections the only thing i shopped for I'm pregnant right now, so I didn't even look at the ready to wear, which was, you know, part of me, there's this jacket, which is like from an older collection that I really want to have, but it's so crazy expensive, so we're not doing that right now. And um, yeah, I'm like actually waiting for my Tieda Art, see what they have over there. And maybe this year I am like debating, like, will I buy one more Chanel bag this year or not? I'm working on my luxury wish list. So that's the next video I'm going to make for you guys. like what is on my wish list this year when it comes to luxury purchases luxury items i think if i work with a list it's gonna be way better like for me for real like for now no more chanel shoes i even like they had the nice camellia slides but i have something similar so we're not doing it i really want to be more like do not go crazy i would 
not really go fully crazy but I want to be wearing them now. I feel like my shoe selection, shoe collection right now is quite complete when it comes to Chanel. I'm still waiting for the classic combat boots. It's already one and a half year. I regret not getting it when I was traveling to New York, but I'm very loyal to my home store. Um, on the other hand, do I really need it? I do have combat boots, but I wish I had them in full black with a little logo. And maybe by the time they have it, I do not want it anymore. I'm very happy with these boots. I'm just trying to like slow a little bit down and see. I think I have a quite complete Chanel selection when it comes to shoes. Maybe I should do like a whole, what kind of shoes do I have in my collection from Chanel? Let me know if it's something you would be interested in. So let me know that you like any of the items I bought. Is there something that caught your eye? Um, is there anything you've bought from 23P collection? And uh, yeah, also let me know what you would like to see in the next video. It would be a great video to um, make for YouTube and what you would be interested in or any reviews you would like me to do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today. Please don't forget to comment, to like, to subscribe. Um, I love reading your comments. Also wanted to say thank you so much for all the love I've received when I announced my pregnancy. You guys are really like a great bunch. It's such a positive community over here. And I appreciate it. So thank you so much. And until the next time, bye-bye.